Harriet Tubman is most well known for helping enslaved people escape along the Underground Railroad. But that's not the only way she fought for freedom. She was also a top secret spy working for the Union Army. At the time, very few people knew that formerly enslaved people like Harriet Tubman were working as spies. In fact, Abraham Lincoln didn't even tell the two men in charge of the Army and Navy about it. Secretary of State William Seward was tasked with the job and personally recruited Harriet Tubman into his secret spy ring. Seward's house was a stop on the Underground Railroad, so he knew Tubman personally and trusted her deeply. In her years helping people escape slavery, Tubman regularly arranged secret meetings, passed along tons of info, and had to think fast in the face of danger all without drawing any attention to what she was doing. In other words, Harriet Tubman seemed to be accidentally training for spy work all of her adult life. She assembled a ragtag team of trusted scouts and former enslaved people who worked together to map strategic routes and waterways. Tubman and her troop of spies would offer cash for bits of useful info from locals and would ask enslaved people about Confederate plans they may have overheard. It was courageous for any former enslaved person to travel into Confederate territory, where they were still considered slaves and fugitives. If caught, they were often treated brutally. That was especially true for someone like Harriet Tubman, who was a well-known abolitionist. Yet she pressed on without fear, becoming the first woman in U.S. history to lead a military expedition. On June 2, 1863, Tubman led soldiers up the Cumbie River in South Carolina to raid Confederate rice plantations along the shore. The raid was a massive success for the Union. They destroyed bridges, burned buildings, and freed hundreds of enslaved people working on the plantations. While spying, Tubman also managed to spread word to local enslaved people that she would bring boats that would carry them to freedom. When Tubman and the boats finally came, she signaled to them, and more than 700 people came running for the ships. The raid completely overpowered the Confederates, mostly due to Tubman's top secret spy work. She knew the area was lightly guarded with minor defenses and learned the location of their underwater mines which let the Union ships safely navigate the river. Despite how important she was to the cause, Tubman was only paid about $200 for all her years of military service. It wasn't until almost 30 years later that she finally got a pension, and that was only for her husband's military service. So it goes to show you, no good deed goes unpunished. Even when you're an abolitionist, turned underground railroad conductor, turned secret agent, and all-around renegade. But hey, at least she'll be on the $20 bill, right? Mm -hmm.